So this is the A38 this time, boys and girls. Uh, I think last time it was the M42. We seem to have a bit of a habit of uh, bringing some really shit weather wherever we're going to or from. It's a bit windy, but it doesn't matter. So I think it's the 6th of August today, Friday, and we are back at the marina here, at Festival Way, whatever it is. Guess where we at last night? Toby Carvery. And it was seven quid a head, or something, seven pound 20 a head or something. You can't cook at home for that, really. <sighs> Not, you know, well, you can, obviously, but shut up. Today, um, we've left the rain behind temporarily. We've got a bit of sunshine. We're gonna go onto the Cauldron Canal. Probably won't be doing a huge amount of filming. Um, Although I might, I don't know, who knows, eh? Who knows? Um, the plan is, because we're, because Charlotte's on call and we're working um, sort of from home, as it were, that uh, we're gonna come back here Monday and leave the boat for a week. Because um, we didn't know, we, we, we've got four days, we could head through Harecastle Tunnel, through Kids Grove and up the Trenton Mersey, but it's where we would leave the boat safely for a week so we thought we'd sooner kind of like just pay and leave the boat here for a week um it's not expensive seven quid a night which is a bargain there's no electric but we can live without that uh so that's what we're going to do today charlotte is currently on a work call so i'm waiting for that to finish then she's going to go over open that bridge and i think i'm just going to try and reverse out actually i don't know let's see right that's the plan, if you can call it a plan. Fair weather sailor, sheltering from rain, which helpfully has just stopped as soon as I've come onto this bridge. So there we go, starting another day with some quite nice, quite nice art alongside a canal. I do approve of getting kids into like proper street art type endeavours rather than just fucking tanging. Unfortunately everything's going to get tagged but that's some decent art there, no doubt involving some of the little darlings, little local darlings. Right, so we're headed back, We've, we came up here. Um, last week, so when I had it no, earlier this week, whatever day it was this week, I, I don't know, might have been Monday. I'm fairly sure it was Monday, it's now Friday. So when I had it back down to Etruria Junction, where we will be banging on to the Calden, breaking new ground. Exciting stuff, eh, boys and girls? I know you've probably all. So a little bit fed up of me not knowing where I am, where I'm going, but I do know for sure, almost, that we have not done <laughs> the Cordon Canal before. We haven't. We've done a tiny bit of it, but not proper, only to go shopping, and then we carried on up to Hare Castle. I sense today will be very much one of those days of very mixed weather. In the last two minutes we've had rain and bright sunshine, which is all nice and everything, but... <laughs> Can we just stick with the sunshine, please? So this is Etruria Junction. The... Zoom in for you. The lock there is where you go down and keep going down to uh, the rest of the Trenton Mersey and then round to the left is Etruria
Hello. Etruria. What's up, mate? Oh, let's try not to bump into it because that would be embarrassing. There's a little kink here. Nothing to do with a canal, that. Yeah, we're fine. We're good. We're gone. You're not thinking of just pulling out in front of me, are you? Hope not. Hmm, that might have been uh, might have been worth going to check that out. But we are now banging on up toward Leek. I don't think we'll be far from Leek by the end of today. So anyway, Etruria, the junction's down there. There's a little windy turny bit before you pull into this bit. So this is now the uh, the Calden Canal proper. This is breaking new ground. And I don't think, I might be wrong, I need to check. I'm fairly sure this uh, this here little boat of ours, this little mustn't grumble, fairly sure she has never been this way. You're right, girl. So giving her a treat as well. I know she's probably done all of the others with various different people. I think Jeff and Sandra have probably taken her uh, almost everywhere. That's a church over there. Uh, but I don't know if they'd have done this. I might send them a message later. But how lovely. Now we've got, I think, three locks and then a bit of a run and then one lock and then five locks. I think that's all there is for today uh, to leak. And then there's a few more locks when we go on the downward arm. I better let Charlotte off, hadn't I? First lock of the day. Oh, that was painless enough. Wasn't a lot in that lock. And now, I gently ease myself in. No squeeze necessary. Oh, little touch there. That's a staircase left. I didn't know that. <laughs> who'd, have, who'd have guessed there was something I didn't know? <laughs> what about that? <laughs> oh. um, right. The massive gates there, look. Tell us. I don't know if this is a two chamber or three chamber. If it's a three chamber, then we get all the locks out, all the first part of the locks out, boom. 15 minutes, 20 minutes max, done. Uh, and then Charlotte goes in to do a bit of work. We've got some sunshine, look. It won't last. It won't last long enough for me to get my boobs out anyway. But a little bit of sunshine all the same. This little bit here is the bywash for this lock. So if this lock fills too much, all the water runs down there. And then just on top of the side is the main bywash from up there. You see that there, look? See it better once I'm, once I'm fully up. So we should see some water starting to go down here once we're up to that level it never ceases to amaze me you know the beauty of this engineering i think this for me is equally as important as just cruising along. It's, it's just the, that harmony with this real kind of like 
proper engineering. We think steel framed buildings with inflammable cladding are nice, but this is, this is like real engineering. This thing there tells you how the lock works, by the way. So it's a two chamber lock. When water comes up, we'll be going into second chamber. Might see something going over the bio wash. It seems quite wet there, so it does seem like it it is there for a oh actually I don't know though. Charlotte looks like she's about to open that. No, yes. Nothing. Ah, here we go. Water's starting to go over the bio wash. Here we are. So that means that, that uh, chamber is now pretty much emptied. If that chamber's bigger than this chamber, then this biwash is where that extra water goes. A little bit of histrionics, a little bit of engineering for you there, boys and girls. I hope you appreciate the fact that I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Probably more than half, but there we are. And now we slide effortlessly and gracefully into the second chamber. It didn't sound quite the way I meant it to, but. What beautiful, lovely engineering. I just... It's sort of, um, it's sort of thing like Bingley 5 rise and Bingley 3 rise and the locks at the top of the Chesterfield Canal, um, just past Shire Oaks Marina. There's about 23 of them, 21, 23 of them. Beautiful, it is just so, I mean, this is real, proper, pucker civil engineering at its best. Fuck your steel frame buildings. Beautiful. those paddles it will just drag the boat woof forward smash straight into the gates at the end which you do not want to do I've just I've got quite a lot of reverse going here and I'm literally just allowing the boat to drift forward so it just nudges that front gate there like that that's good enough getting into a lock like this for the first time not realizing that they've got to put a load of reverse on and then suddenly finding that the boat has bumped into the front very very heavily very heavily indeed very 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 heavily crash I better go and give Charlotte a hand to harvest some of these this is quite interesting in that they've got chains along the side and uh, escape ladders. Now the reason for that is that we're coming up to um, Stoke-on-Trent College and the reason I know that <coughs> is because I looked on the map. No it's not just that. Um, 
I wrote, so look, those chains are all the way along there. So if someone gets pissed and falls in, they can pull themselves to an escape ladder. What a wonderful, wonderful thing to find. Uh, when was it? Oh, probably, I think probably around 2012, I wrote a thing uh, for student unions to adapt for their own use about um, sexual consent and obviously as a, as a new student the main thing you want to do is uh, get drunk and fuck um, so everyone thinks it's not always quite as easy as that some don't and if they don't they shouldn't really be excluded from the rest of the student community it's generally seen as a form of weakness if you don't want to just go out and get pissed uh, so anyway, I wrote this thing that a lot of student unions then went out and, and adopted uh, and changed for their own because you, know, you don't want you don't want someone old like me trying to talk in student language, do you? In it, um, so they they adapted some of those those core principles that I wrote in that in that document. And Stoke was one of the few that I got some very positive feedback from, uh, thanking me. For taking that, I didn't didn't charge anyone for it. I made it all freely available. Um, and, and Stoke, there was Stoke. I can't remember. There's a couple of others who who actually took the time to write to me and say thank you. Uh, out of I think about 30, 25, 30 university student unions adopted it, adopted it, including one in Sheffield, which I won't mention. Um, but they actually credited somebody else. Thanks for that. I did mention it to them, and they I didn't get any I didn't get any response. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? When when a student union in your home city plagiarises your work and then, and credits and credits someone else. Fuckers. Anyway, so yeah, Stoke on Trent College um, was one of the nice ones. So it's good to see that they have actually got some nice. Um, protective measures here for students who fall in the canal <coughs> after getting a bit pissed a little bit squiffy yeah oh, this is interesting there's some sort of park here and it looks like they're rigging for a festival look at that stage massive gen set I wonder what's going on here, boys and girls. So it's um, Friday the 6th. I'm guessing this will be a weekend event. So Saturday the 7th, somewhere in Stoke. Look at this. How lovely is this? What? <laughs> Crumbs. This is, this is absolutely gorgeous. What a lovely, wow. Right, so we want to know what's going on there this weekend. It's a reasonably sized stage. It's got a nice little VIP cage in front. They haven't got the sound tent up yet, have they? It doesn't look like it. It looks like that's probably going to be going up and back. Oh, very good. What a... Oh, a lovely little discovery. Yeah, I doubt we'll end up finding out what it is. I'll probably be far too busy bashing into bridges and things. Oh, so if you see what I mean. <laughs> so if you if you wanted a free uh, free access to that. You'd just stand on towpath, wouldn't you? How good's that? Wish I knew where we were. I'll have a little look. We're, we're next to, pretty much next to Stoke College. So uh, yeah, whatever, whatever's going on there, we might be here tomorrow night. And no, Saturday, what's it, Friday? Saturday's tomorrow. No, it'll be Sunday we'll be coming back, I should think. Oh, what a smashing park and huge as well right yeah 
only bumped into that a little bit, not much. I'm gonna go slow past these higher boaters because we don't want to spoil their holiday. This looks like a fairly new canal side development. I suppose if you're gonna to have to have flats, then this isn't badly done. They've embraced the canal with this nice wharf along the edge. No use for mooring. All right, if you've got a dog, they put a little dog bowl down there. And some of that outdoor furniture, Ponzi outdoor furniture shit. And some leather sofas. I'm not sure really they're designed to be outside furniture. <laughs> but it's not, it's not unattractive in that sense. It could be a whole lot worse. It's quite nice leather furniture actually. I'm sure it's not designed to be outdoor leather furniture. But there you go. A reasonable attempt at uh, a canal side development. Uh, we've just been told by um, the boys and girls on the Black Prince boat that there's a problem with one of the lift bridges. Um, opens and shuts immediately, which is good. Um, but they have informed CRT. It'll be just our luck, CRT will pop a stoppage out on it. We'll wait and see. But yeah, in, in terms of a, I don't know, it's, it's not offensive, is it? As far as it goes. But the next bit might be. Oh, fuck. Yes, it looks like there's a, a massive slummy tower block that we're coming up to. Soulless. But this isn't soulless. It has an attempt at some kind of character, hasn't it? It's not as not as offensive as that shit in Birmingham where they've got all that just coming out of Gas Street Basin that I don't know, it looks like something out of a out of the video game Doom or Quake or something. But this isn't this isn't too bad. This is alright. Hi. <laughs> I think at least attempting to embrace with this along the canal side is more than a lot bother to do. You know, with the seating, I think it's alright. I think they've done alright. I wouldn't mind living there. I'm not sure I'd want to live up there, but I wouldn't mind living here. If it were a choice between that and that. I'm dreading what that's going to look like. As we come round this bend, we should get a view of it. Mind you, look over there, there's equally... Oh! I just don't think humans are designed to live in anything, even, you know, sort of like much bigger than that, really. as well. Be a nice bit of video if you fly in. Oh go on. Well that wasn't very impressive I'm sorry to say. Oh fuck me. Oh yeah well that's horrible. I think the only saving grace is they're made of brick. That's, that's given a, a few bricklayers a, a couple of months' work, but oh god, just horrible, horrible all the same. Sorry, I, I don't really want to turn into an architecture nerd, but or one of those sort of people who's I, I could be like Prince Charles, couldn't I? Hopefully not. But what's what's these little windows all about? Does that mean you've got a, a bathroom with no windows or? What's all that about? There's not a great deal of light getting into those flats, is there? Humans should not have to live that way. Oh, I'm gonna stop now because I'll end up, I'll end up fucking ranting again. Now, 
now that is a beautiful sight here on Calden Canal. We've got some not too shitty canal side developments. Hello. It's all right. And look at these. A beautiful monument. To the potteries. I can't imagine these are right cheap, but they're sympathetically done. They're not, they're not really, oh, God, that wind. They're not really abusive or offensive. Yeah, good show. And for keeping them, even better, I should hope that all of the remaining ones of those are now listed properties, kind of wind. But so far, what a beautiful little canal this has turned out to be. Anyway, more canal side properties that aren't too gross as far as it goes. Um, we're going to take a chance on this bridge then. I think so. It's still up so far. What I don't want to do is really hammer it through, get halfway through and then it, it comes down again. It seems to be staying up. Turn. If it comes down now, absolutely buggered. Good, good. Phew. Well, I have to remember with these now that I've got to stop to pick up Madame Windlass because she is officially working from home today. <laughs> oh fuck me. That didn't sound good, did it? Fucking shit underneath. And there's something on the prop. Well. Fucking hell, that's not good. <laughs> that's so not good. People of Stoke, please don't throw shit in the canal. I'm gonna try and get over there onto those bollards. Judging by some of the other shit on the towpath, it looks like other people have had stuff out of their weed hatch as well. But I bet it doesn't really compare too much to this and this whatever this is, looks like. Sort of the remains of a hanging basket, covered in bits of fishing line and stuff. So, um, I'm a bit loathed to uh, chuck it over there anywhere, because it could end up just straight back in. There's a British Waterways or Canal River Trust um, facility little bit further up where I think we're probably going to fill it with water so uh, I'll see if I can chuck it in the bins there but people of Stoke please don't chuck shit in the fucking canal how about this it's um it's four o'clock it's turned out lovely and I have to say we're only what four hours into this canal and apart from crap that we had to pull out of the weed hatch and the other little bits that I felt somewhere along the way that will go in at some point as well no doubt um, what a smashing little canal this is it's beautiful just over here is the River Trent that's how it gets the name Stoke-on-Trent but 
where we are. How beautiful is this? I love it. Especially in the sunshine, obviously. Obviously not too bothered about the barbed wire, are you, mate? For fear of repeating myself, I am enjoying this canal. <laughs> it's, I don't know, what can I say? It's just lovely. And um, even though it's quite late in the afternoon, sorry, I should have zoomed out a little bit, there we go. Even though it's quite late in the afternoon, it is very, very summery at the moment. It's very warm. I'm wondering whether or not I could get away with... Marley, what do you think? Hey, what do you reckon? Popping the t-shirt off, you know. It's lovely, it's turned out beautifully, hasn't it? Turned out beautifully, pups. He doesn't care, he just wants to go for a W A L K along the T O W P A T H with C H A R L O T T E. Who has been working today? Quarter past four. I am loving this. I'm absolutely lapping this up. What an absolutely beautiful little treasure this is. But people won't do it because it doesn't go anywhere. Which, you know, the irony there is that they'll do things like the, um, the Ashby Canal and the Lancaster Canal and the Langochlan Canal. And okay, I guess, you know, you do this all in a, in a couple of days the uh, Cordon Canal, do it all in a couple of days, but I suppose people like to do things like the um, the Ashby Canal because it's it's a weekend back from somewhere like Clifton Cruises or something like that, or Rose Narrow Boats, so that's possibly why, but, or the Langochlin because, you know, it takes you a week to do the Langochlin. I can't remember, we have done the Langochlin, but not in this little girl here, uh, this this girl's been up there with I think Pete and Jan and Jeff and Sandra I know it was up with Pete and Jan because we almost passed them we hired a boat up there from uh, was it Anglo Welsh I think because the thing is you know when your boat's in one one place you very rarely get to do a long haul unless you do go out like this go out for the summer which 16 uh, which was why we ended up hiring and we do you know we're hire all around the country we've hired from uh, Fox Narrowboats down in March quite quite a few we've hired from because it saves us having to spend three weeks getting to where we want to cruise if that makes sense which is why it's lovely when so both on the Leeds Liverpool just before Stone and last year well not last year but 2019 2020 I'm pretending didn't happen but uh, when we came uh, came to meet uh, Jeff and Sandra on the Shroppy and then we got the opportunity to sail back so it's been you know they have they've actually given us it sounds weird but they've given us more time on this boat than we really probably would have had apart from this well they've given us this summer as well unfortunately because they couldn't get over so it is it's a bit sad but it's been just what a wonderful just beautiful beautiful experience and really just getting to fall in love with this beautiful boat again it's just well I never fell out of love with it which was the problem really that's why we didn't want to didn't want to sell it but um I mean this is just this I can't remember who it was. Someone described this boat as like a, a pair of comfortable old slippers. 
you know you, you always know where you are with it it's always it always just does exactly what you want her to do and um, yeah I think she is she is the perfect narrowboat well for, for me or for us well and now for Jeff and Sandra obviously but perfect handling that's because the swim goes right way back to there it's got a really really long swim handles impeccably we can moor it with a couple of inches each end once you get used to it it's just a joy to moor and um, yeah when I'm not when I'm not bashing it into uh, locks or bridges or not paying attention it's just fantastic but uh, whoops as I just said when I'm not paying attention but what a beautiful canal this has turned out to be so so glad we decided to uh, to add it to our summer outing it is glorious it's absolutely glorious Wow so now we need to find the uh, CRT service point get rid of some of the crap uh, there's still those fenders that we pulled out of the uh, out of the um, weed hatch on the Northampton arm well one one was on the Northampton arm I can't remember where the other one was but I think that's been a, another one and on this trip another first is pulling a couple of fenders out the weed hatch but yeah so loving this so far Is that absolutely necessary? You could have just waited until I'd gone through. Well, you, you still could have just waited until I'd come through before pushing that off. You've had contact now where you didn't need to have contact. No, no, we were, we were stuck with telling you. That's and I, the whole point. You was on the side, I've just videoed you pulling out. You could have waited until I'd come through, that's the point. I don't believe it. So now I'm stuck here. God's sake. I'll be contacting your hire company. That's ridiculous. You should have had better tuition than that. That's ridiculous. Do you know, this is sometimes why hirers get a bad name. Stupid fuckers, eh? Christ on a bike. Now, provided those fuckwits haven't left the top paddles open or something, this lock should be in our favour. Although anything's possible. Yeah, Charlotte's having to open the open the paddles. Still, you know, at least they. No, there isn't at least anything. They were idiots. It was on the side and pulled out just as I was, I can't believe that, pulled out just as I was passing that boat. It just goes to show, I suppose, that you get fuckwits on all canals. I'm definitely contacting their hire place. That was so unnecessary. Right, so um, yes, this might be the last lock of the day because it is a 10 to five. And um, I know Charlotte's going to jump off and start walking Marley in a bit. I can't imagine we'll be going much past six. It'll be interesting to see if we get to leak or not. I'll need to look at the map and see what the lock situation is. But I think there's more we need to go through before we get to leak. Let's 
it's uh, quite leaky. This is very shallow, as you can see. The water is down a good amount. So this could be a very, very interesting and quite long pound. I'm not sure how far it is until the next locks, but that's a lot of water gone. And by the look of it, that's a lot of water that's gone fairly recently. More than, I'm, more than us just pulling one lock fall off, but I should imagine I'm going to have to take it very that's not, that's not a lock up there no, I'm going to have to take it very very cautiously for fear of getting stucked on the bottom, I think there's a bridge down there it looks something like it's got a it's got a bridge like thing on it so that's alright but yeah it's, um, I can definitely feel the bottom in places. I don't usually mind feeling the bottom in places, but this isn't a good place to be feeling the bottom in places. Are you going to get off and do the bridge? Yeah, I'm going to get off and take Maori off and walk now and do the locks as well, because there's some locks coming up in the boat. All right, good. This pound's really shallow. I know. Whew, there's a welcome lock, because water is very low so uh, be glad to see the back of this pound I know that it is incredibly low I don't know I can pick this out very well but uh, probably not yeah but it's okay it's a lovely evening Molly got ya <laughs> Now this is a, a strange building in a state of semi disrepair. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to film and steer at the same time. But what a lovely building in a state of semi disrepair. There's a car there, so something's going on with it. Uh, so we're, um, anyway, we're between locks on the pretty much the final series of locks of the day. Chris, that's definitely the, I know, it's not the last lock, but it's not the not last lock anyway. Anyway, yes. I want to know what that building was. It's nice. I want to look on the map. That building is Stockton Brook Waterways and Pumping Station. And I'm wondering because a lot of these uh, a lot of these pumping stations are no longer used as pumping stations. They're um, quite often they'll be the remains of what was the waterworks and pumping station, and a, a couple have been turned into some really nice houses. I'm wondering whether that is the fate waiting for that one. But there you go, Stockton Brook waterworks and pumping station now, this is interesting in lock Ooh. let's get a better look well look at this what a wonderful thing to find That is superb! Wow! I very, very much approve of such art. 
That is truly beautiful. Wow. What a thing to find just in a lock. Whoever did it back in 2007, thank you. It is gorgeous. Now, for those who've never followed any of my um, canal videos before, I'm just going to show you one of these. Now, that little triangle there, you can't see many other ones. Ah, hang on. There's another mark there. Now, these are Mason's marks. And Mason's marks were used pretty much as you would sign your name now. So when these locks were built, um, there's another one down there. Oh yeah, there's a star. These Mason's marks indicated the Mason who'd made that block and put it in place. And at the end of the day, the, uh, the foreman would come along and would count how many of that particular mason's mark were inside the lock that day, had been put in there that day, and that would be how they would be paid. So if he'd done, it looked like he was quite a prolific guy, this guy here, because there's a couple of his marks there. Um, so the more marks the governor found, the more the mason would be paid. A little bit of trivia. And there's not a huge number of locks now because a lot of them have deteriorated. There's, uh, there's some on the um, uh, Upper Peak Forest Canal. There's, they are scattered around a little bit. But it's nice to see those little mason marks because it means this lock a lot of the stonework in this lock is probably original. And what a beautiful evening. I know I've said that a couple of times. But what a lovely evening this has turned out to be. There was another one of those um, pieces of artwork uh, by the next lock after I did the last one. But there was a group of kids not kids, young young men. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Pick the charger up. Group of young men smoking. What well, didn't seem like terribly bad ganja. I've uh, I've smelt worse. Perhaps they get better stuff down here in Stoke. Is it more middle class? I don't know. Uh, so I didn't want to get out the camera and film just in case it sort of like freaked them out a little bit. I won't worry. They weren't a problem. They were as good as gold, but. I don't like getting the, getting the camera out when there's young people smoking ganja because they can sometimes get sort of like a little bit camera shy. They wouldn't have been a problem, but you know what it's like. Uh, so we now have probably, I think, probably about another hour to go before we hit Stoke. Uh, Stoke? Leak. I'm ready now. I'm ready for, for, I'm ready for stopping and getting a beer. But Madame Windlass seems to want to I think she's got leak in her sights for tonight. There's um, there's a marina just up ahead and then we burr around to the right and then there's a CRT waste disposal point. We're gonna get rid of all that shit. But what a beautiful evening. I'm gonna be a bit of a cold and canal bore, aren't I? But just, how beautiful is this? <laughs> It is, it's a true delight. It really is an absolutely true delight. Spoiled only by a couple of fuckwit hire boaters, but hasn't really spoiled it. It's just rammed home the fact that there needs to be a resurgence in the handover audit. We did it years ago. Why aren't hire companies doing it now? You know, basic things like slow down when you're passing other boaters, don't pull out when another boat's just about to come past you and don't try and force your way through a fucking gap. You cretinous fuckwits. Just little things like that. But what a beautiful canal this is.
absolutely delightful. What a treasure. I'm not totally convinced that I'll ever go back in the water. I don't know though, it's it's not actually in bad nick. It's got a got a bit of a scruff to it, but skeg looks alright, it's got a decent enough propeller on there and rudder. Oh well, who knows? You know what I'm gonna say, don't you? I'm gonna say what a bloody lovely evening on the Cordon Canal. Somewhere near, I think it's called Stanley. We're not far from Leek. We're only a couple of miles from Leek, but we decided to moor here because it's just nice and it's not in a town. It's actually the Canal River Trust um, services facilite that uh, I was looking forward to um, dump all the crap off there, which has come out at Weed Hatch. So we topped up with some water there. Then I reversed back deftly between these two boats. What a lovely day. An absolutely spankingly good day. Um, Cordon Canal. So glad we decided to do this. Uh, any other boaters, if you've never done this, you're missing out. It's absolutely delightful. It's beautiful. So tomorrow we're going to Leek. It'll be about an hour and a half, two hours maybe lunch there. And then we're going to go down the other branch at the end of the Cordon Canal, which has got quite a few locks to it. Uh, and then we might end up back here tomorrow. <laughs> Who knows? Well, look at that. How, um, how adventurous are we? But it's a beautiful, beautiful canal. I'm loving it. For now, on day 36, I think it is. If you enjoy this particular boating nonsense <laughs> and you'd like to see more, boaty bits please feel free to subscribe um, if you click the little bell it tells YouTube that it might be worth uh, suggesting to other people uh, if you click the like button that just for me no hang on no if you click the bell what does the bell do the bell reminds you when I post something new yeah that's right and if you click the like button that's what tells YouTube that it might be worth suggesting to other people. I'm not a YouTube expert, boys and girls. I make these just sort of like out of interest for people who might be bored or, or sick of daytime television. So if you do like it, uh, that uh, makes it all worthwhile for me. Until next time, thank you. Whatever you're doing, remember, please do it safely. And uh, from the middle of nowhere, somewhere near Leek. Cheers.